kick off our list, we have the Galaxy E8. This is another electric project from the company Gill, whose 11 factories produce cars at a rate of about 2 million per year. Therefore, the E8, the largest sedan in the family, has plenty of places and people to be assembled. There are several versions available, as usual. Fans of long trips will appreciate the version that offers a range of 413 miles with a fully charged battery, while performance enthusiasts can opt for the version that accelerates from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. Inside, there's plenty to admire. The car features a huge integrated screen of 45 inches with support for resolutions up to 8K. It can be divided into multiple parts, for example, for the driver and the passenger. The sports car K50 has been appearing in auto shows since 2018, and for car enthusiasts in the United States, it's probably better known as Dragonfly or Mullen GT. Under the latter name, it is planned to be sold in the United States from late 2025 or early 2026. Technically, we are dealing with an electric sports car with 400 horsepower. It accelerates from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds, and with a fully charged battery, it can travel 230 miles. The maximum speed of the GT version is 124 miles per hour, and if that's not enough, opt for the GDRS and admire the speedometer reaching 200 miles per hour. In a literal translation, it means red flag, and this company carries this name with pride. This hybrid with the modest name S9 is faster than the Bugatti Chiron. The Chinese car accelerates from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds, while the French car takes about 2.5 seconds. The maximum speed of the S9 exceeds 248 miles per hour. What did the Chinese engineers do with the hybrid configuration of the car to achieve such a result? Of course, they don't reveal it, but we found out that the S9 has about 1400 horsepower. By the way, Hong CH manufactures cars for the Chinese elite, including the government. Perhaps limousines will go out of fashion soon. The latest model, the Zeker 007, entered pre-production this spring. It's an electric car that can reach up to 130 miles per hour if desired. There are two options, rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, with power outputs of 421 or 646 horsepower, respectively. The difference in range isn't significant, 427 miles for the rear-wheel drive option and 383 miles for the all-wheel drive version. The slogan of the Zeker 007 is, your new luxury sedan. The interior is first class, with a standout feature being the touchscreen of over 15 inches supporting AI algorithms. The design, as with the Zeker 009, had the collaboration of Stepan Silla. The GAC Group is also not shy about unleashing imagination. This company manufactures cars, including for Fiat, Honda, and Toyota. Additionally, it produces buses and regularly appears in rankings of the giants of the Chinese automotive industry. In short, its engineers and designers have many capabilities. Just look at this concept car. It operates on an innovative platform that uses hydrogen as fuel. The approximate power of the car is 540 horsepower, and its range is also impressive at 497 miles. The car is all-wheel drive, and some components, in line with ecological trends, are made from recycled plastic and algae. Happy Life, Gilly Drive It's not difficult to guess which Chinese company this lively slogan belongs to. They started by producing refrigerators, and today, they manufacture cars like this one. On the screen is the Gilly Zeker 009. 
This minivan is extremely unusual. At first glance, its design is the work of Stepan Zill, who joined Gilly in 2021 from none other than Bentley. Despite its respectable length of 17.1 feet, the Gilly Zeker 009 is the fastest production minivan in the world. Yes, its top speed is only 118 miles per hour, but it accelerates from 0 to 62 miles per hour in an impressive 4.5 seconds, thanks to two electric motors with a total of 544 horsepower. Sometimes it seems like without a long history in the automotive market, there's not much to do. BMW and Ford are recognized worldwide, but are you familiar with the cars from the Chinese company NIO? In 2020, it was valued on the New York Stock Exchange as worth more than the legendary General Motors. This is yet another paradox that only benefits the Chinese, and NIO's cars are truly interesting. What do you think of their conceptual sedan, the NIO EVE? It demonstrates how the company envisions the cars of the future. According to NIO, people will need not just a means of transportation, but a complete, adaptable living space for different situations. That's why the wheelbase has been increased to 10.8 feet. In videos, foldable tables, adjustable transparency glass, and transformable seats are featured. There's enough space inside for six people, and comfort is guaranteed by the end system, which uses AI algorithms to cater to the passenger's interests. The Chinese don't hesitate to expand to foreign production locations. A striking example is the SUV Carlman King, which is assembled in Italy. It's interesting not only for its design inspired by stealth aviation, but also for its price, which revolves around $3.8 million. According to many online publications, the Carlman King is the most expensive SUV in the world. Therefore, its options are also commensurate. You can even install protection against firearms, a coffee machine, and a bar inside the car, amenities certainly typical for those willing to spend millions. The heart of the Carlman King is a 6.8-liter Ford Triton V10 engine with 398 horsepower. So, despite its considerable dimensions and weight, it's possible to accelerate the SUV to 137 miles per hour. Did you miss the masterpieces from BYD Company Limited? The company continues to surprise, and this time, it presents the Super 9 sports car. It was introduced by Wolfgang Iger, a man who has worked at Alfa Romeo and Lamborghini and who now, by a happy coincidence, holds the position of Chief Design Officer at BYD. The master's touch is evident immediately. The Super 9 has no roof, and the doors open upwards. It seems like this two-seater car would fit perfectly in an upcoming James Bond movie. However, there are few details about its interior, so the press mainly writes about features like the disc fixation, with a single central nut like in racing cars, and about the separation between the driver and the passenger. Dongfang Motor isn't wasting any time either. Besides the new EPI mentioned earlier, the company is actively working on the Minch brand. Its success is such that it's even used by the Chinese military. In fact, in a literal translation, Minch means warrior. But the brand has also developed something interesting for civilian customers. For example, the Minch 917M Terrain. This vehicle resembles the Hummer and offers four electric motors, generating a total of about 100 horsepower. The car has a range of 311 miles, but it could be even greater, as Dongfang Motor has created a hybrid version for the Chinese market. This version can travel up to 497 miles. Without state protection, the Western automotive industry has no chance of competing with the Chinese. Chinese companies have simply overwhelmed most global competitors. Do you know who made these statements? Elon Musk. And it seems he was right. Currently, 
The Chinese are producing not only cars for the mass market, but also luxury automobiles like the Haunt EHS 9. It's a dangerous competitor for the Cadillac Escalade, Oris Commandant, and similar cars. Even in the basic version, the Haunt EHS 9 is a very pleasant all-wheel drive electric car with two motors totaling 435 horsepower. It features air suspension, leather interior, electronically adjustable front seats, climate control, and other attributes for comfortable travel. The package also includes safety systems like lane departure warnings and blind spot monitoring. Meanwhile, Dongfeng Motor has taken a glimpse into the future and brought back this concept car. There is little information about it for now, but the Chinese company's plans are clearly ambitious. This concept is the first representative of the EPI brand, which will be developed by a new sub-brand of Dongfeng Motor. Interestingly, EPI is a transcendental number known as the Gelfon constant. However, the Chinese specified that in this case, EPI symbolizes the electron. The car will be a hybrid, capable of being powered by both electricity and hydrogen, and that is practically all that is known about it so far. In February of this year, the Yangwang U9 finally hit the market. As you might have guessed, it's another masterpiece from BYD Company Limited, and once again, there's an impressive twist. While the Yangwang U8 SUV can float, this supercar can dance. But what's even more incredible is that these cars share the same platform. The U9 also has a motor on each wheel, delivering a total of 1,300 horsepower and allowing the supercar to accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.3 seconds. The car's top speed exceeds 192 miles per hour. It makes sense that the U9's range is shorter than the U8's, at just 289 miles. But does that really matter when the axles can elevate at a speed of 2 inches per second? Let's visit Great Wall Motors, the largest manufacturer of pickup trucks in China. Their business is doing very well. In 2020, the company bought two factories from General Motors in India and Thailand, and in 2021, it acquired a factory from Daimler AG in Brazil. Will this electric car be produced here? It is known by two names. Initially, the car was called the Salon Mecha Dragon, but after a rebranding, it is now the Sarmika Dragon. This beautiful sports car offers 543 horsepower, accelerates from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds, and captivates with a design featuring touches from the 90s. The range is 498 miles. The battery, by the way, received special attention. It charges from 0 to 50% in just 10 minutes and also supports wireless charging. One of the secrets to the success of the Chinese automotive industry is license production. The country's authorities have created a favorable environment for foreign companies to manufacture cars in China. For example, today, the largest Chinese car manufacturer, SAIC Motor Corporation, produces about 2 million cars annually just for Volkswagen. This approach has given Chinese engineers access to the most advanced technologies. As a result, SAIC proudly presents its electric sedan, the EML6. One of its innovations is the option between a steering wheel and a yoke, similar to Tesla. Additionally, sidewalking and in-place movement modes have been announced. The sedan will be available in both rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive versions, offering 293 or 787 horsepower, respectively, and a range between 435 to 621 miles. Smaller Chinese companies are also keeping up with the giants. Take Human Horizons, for example, which has around 1,500 employees. This doesn't stop the company from manufacturing the breathtaking Hi-Fi Z, a high-tech sedan. The company's website already offers sign-ups for test drives. 
What makes the Hi-Fi Z so special? To understand, two facts are important. First, Human Horizons has its own research and development center. Second, from the beginning, the company aimed at the premium electric car segments. Now, let's look at the sedan's features. It has matrix headlights like the best Mercedes models, projecting useful information directly onto the road for the driver. The front and rear doors open in different ways, similar to Rolls-Royce. The transparent roof is reminiscent of a Tesla's and is so long that it replaces the rear window. Add to this two electric motors with a combined total of 672 horsepower, a battery that allows for a 438 mile range, a top speed of 124 miles per hour, and level three autonomous driving, which allows the driver to completely take their hands off the wheel. What more can be said? Impressive. A great continuation of the theme of China and electric cars is the Lichang Mega. This minivan even surpasses the Porsche Taycan in aerodynamic drag coefficient. The best aerodynamics in its segment are complemented by an impressive interior space. The Lichang Mega can accommodate up to seven passengers. They won't get bored, as there's a 17-inch screen on the ceiling and a sound system with 21 speakers. Additionally, passengers in the first and second rows can enjoy a massage function. For the driver, there are two electric motors with a combined total of 543 horsepower. The battery offers a range of 441 miles, and the Admax autonomous driving system allows the minivan to drive itself both on urban roads and highways, although for now, only on Chinese roads. Did you know that the symbol of Xiaomi Corporation is a rabbit wearing a Ashanka with a red star and a pioneer necktie? The innovations from this Chinese giant are no less creative. From air humidifiers to smartphones, Xiaomi produces it all, and in 2023, it finally launched its first electric car. It's called the Xiaomi SU7. If the design looks familiar, you're very observant. This is the style of former BMW employee lit N1 known for designing the BMW X-Series. The presentation of the Xiaomi SU7 also featured Chris Bangle, the former head of design at the Bavarian Giant. In short, the appearance of the Xiaomi SU7 is impressive, but what about the interior? At a minimum, it includes exclusive hyper-engine power modules that combine an inverter, reducer, control unit, and motor. The horsepower is also impressive, with even the basic version boasting 299 horsepower. The car accelerates from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 5.28 seconds, with a top speed of 130 miles per hour. With a full battery, it can travel 435 miles. Xpeng Motors also made an interesting move last year. The company is one of the leaders in smart car production and partners with Volkswagen. In 2023, it secured a $700 million investment from the Germans. Let's see what Xpeng Motors engineers are working on while the management attracts financial inflows. One of the company's innovations is its focus on electric flying cars. For instance, the Xpeng X2 model is being tested, including over water. The 0.93 mile journey took just four minutes, meaning the theoretical speed of the production model should be around 165 miles per hour, with a payload capacity of 353 pounds. Perhaps these specifications can be tested in practice soon, as production of the Xpeng X2 is expected to begin in a few years. BYD Company Limited ended the fourth quarter of last year on a high note. The company sold more electric cars than Tesla. Interestingly, the increase in the number of vehicles did not compromise quality. Take the BYD Yang Wang U8, for example. 
This hybrid SUV is so well-built that it can even float in boat mode. The car can easily traverse a gap 4.6 feet deep, and for land routes, even the basic package includes a suspension system that can increase ground clearance by 6 inches. Additionally, drivers have 1,197 horsepower at their disposal and can enjoy the combination of electric motors at each wheel and a 2-liter turbo engine. Among other advantages, this combination provides a range of 621 miles.